What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, my name is John and it has been a little over a year since I started the keto diet. So I want to chat with you about that. But first, if you haven't already hit that subscribe, click subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I put out future videos because I know you're going to love the content of this channel, guys. I'll talk to you in just a minute. What's up guys? Boom! <laughs> Just got back from the gym doing chest and back today. Got up early this morning to do some cardio, hitting that bag that we got downstairs. Um, I feel really good guys. It's been now over a year since I've been on the ketogenic diet, living this keto and intermittent fasting st uh, style of way of life. And I tell you what, I'll never go back to any other way of living again. I just cannot believe how much better I feel on this lifestyle than any other diet or plan I've ever tried in my life. And it's amazing to me that all these things can be benefit be benefiting me just by changing my diet, the things that I'm eating. I will never go back to any other kind of diet or lifestyle again. Now that's not to say I won't have a slip in the road here and there, but to be honest with you, my plan for 2019 is to try to go without any cheats. I definitely am not doing any planned cheats, so there's there will not be any day where I pick to go and cheat. That's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna try to really stick to this year of no cheating. I wanna talk about one of the most notable things that I noticed that were, that the difference when I started uh, implementing less carbs. When I stopped eating so many carbs at the beginning of the year, I was bulking and I wasn't exactly eating uh, terrible uh, non-keto carbs, but I was definitely teetering on dirty keto and eating a whole lot of more of those things like quest bars and halo top ice cream and just things like that that you could probably get away with now and then but it was kind of turning into something regular and that's not good that's a dirty bulk i probably didn't do it right i learned some things along the way i definitely won't do approach a bulk that way in the future but i'll tell you this i cannot believe how much better i feel now that i've reduced those carbs out and when you're in the presence of pain constantly, it can be very difficult to actually know that you're in pain because you just you, you, you get used to it. You get resistant to it. You just realize that that's just the way it is. So when I came off eating all those carbs about a weekend, not only did I feel great, I felt way more energetic. I had just an abundance of energy. I could get up earlier with no problems. Um, my mind was super focused. And you know these are more uh, benefits of doing a keto lifestyle but the number one noticeable for me was the pain being gone my back was killing me towards the end of last year and I just thought it was getting worse maybe I was getting older whatever it might be but man when I went and started doing strict keto this beginning of this year my back feels fantastic I'm killing it in the gym I'm not getting injured I, I can just definitely feel in my joints and everything and my muscles just less inflammation I just feel way better and that for me is a reminder of why I wanted to stick with this diet. I just can't believe it's been a year already. <laughs> it's been exciting and I've been learning so much about keto and I just am trying to scream it from the rooftops and share with anybody who will listen because I really want to get the word out. I think it's just so important to spread the word, especially now that the science is coming out to back up everything. Um, it's just more important now than ever guys. We still have so many people that are just stuck in the old way mentality and just stuck in the calories in calories out bro mentality uh, exercise more, you know uh, Lose you'll lose weight just eat less and it just doesn't work that way now We know the science is coming out. It's more of a hormonal thing Yes, you do have to pay attention to calories when you're trying to lose fat or lose weight but it's not the end all be all and now we know that there's way more important factors that play a role so that's all i'm trying to say is that i'm not trying to argue whether or not calories matter because they do but there's also a lot more to the recipe than just that so i'm just excited to see how much this movement is growing and how much more people are coming on low carb um, 
bandwagon, I guess you could say. But any way we get them there, guys, that's, I don't care how we get them there, as long as we get them there and they can feel what we feel. Because we who do keto know how amazing it feels. And I just want to share that with everybody who will listen. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing um, this year, man. Once I really started to research it um, well and I could actually understand it. I was just able to educate other people and tell other people about it. And that's what I'm hoping is going to be a domino effect. And they'll go and tell their friends and, you know, it'll be just this ongoing thing. And So there's so many things going on this year, guys. I'm uh, really trying to launch this If You're Keto brand. I'm going to hopefully be certified as a personal trainer here in the next month. Um, I'm just excited to see what's going to come for this year but yeah definitely the pain reduction in the joints and the back especially is number one my energy level guys is insane i just feel like i can work out for hours if i needed to um, i do two a days right now because we are cutting now and i just feel great i'm able to spring up out of bed and i'm not hitting snooze on my alarm anymore i feel great uh, my mind is so much sharper now and I've noticed that real a lot at work I mean I can just see clear like it's like when you take a somebody who's been blind their whole life and give them glasses and all of a sudden they can see clear clear <laughs> that's I guess how I would describe it to me because uh, you know that if you've eaten those carbs um, after being keto for a while and then eating carbs you have like that brain fog like that yeah like your brain is just like dumb and that's really how it felt for a while when i was eating all those carbs i just felt like slower and dumber i didn't like that and then i realized you just don't really appreciate those things until you go back to getting to strict keto and you realize oh yeah my mind is so much clearer now and i can see things way better than when i'm eating sugar and carbs and it's just not worth it to me you know so yeah i'm i'm going to definitely try to uh you know, if I have a craving for something, I'm just going to keto it and make it that way. And, you know, hopefully the more that keto is growing, the more available things will be. Um, I know I've seen some things already hitting the freezers and grocery stores, um, like real good pizzas, you know, things that you can get on the fly if you want to make a pizza real quick. Or check out my video on, on how to make a quick pizza um, that will at least be a better alternative than going to Pizza Hut and getting a real pizza or something like that. So that's what I'm going to try to focus on doing this year is just keep it um, with no cheats because I just feel so much better, guys. I just can't believe how much light and day, night and day it really is when you go strict keto of just how much better you feel. So that's where I'm at, guys. Let me know. Comment down below. Tell me about your experiences with keto, how you guys feel. Um, you know, I just want to engage with y'all, talk to you guys. I really love to talk to you guys and comment back and forth. So let me know how it's going for you this year. If you're losing, trying to lose some fat, if you're trying to, uh, if you got some other goals going on in your lives, hey, just let me know, guys. I'd love to know. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe, guys, <laughs> just, just click the subscribe, all right? All right, we'll talk to you later. Life's too short, so have a fantastic night.